Hey guys, this is Lucas from Better Coding Academy, and I want to welcome you to a series that I call Bite Size JavaScript. In each video of this series, I will be sharing a bite sized piece of JavaScript code which I believe may be of use during your JavaScript career. In this video today, we're going to be having a look at a function that I like to call Noopify. Now, Noopify is based off of the concept of a Noop. And a no-op in computer programming is a, is a computer instruction which does nothing. In the case of uh, JavaScript, it commonly just refers to a function that does absolutely nothing. So in this case, you see we have a no-op function here. And if you run this function, you'll notice that you get undefined over here. If I just do a quick console log of that, you'll notice that we get undefined. So what is the purpose of such a function? Well, actually, this kind of function comes in handy a lot. This particular case is one of the uses for the no-op function, and um, there are many others, uh, to the point where there are actually no-op functions built into common JavaScript libraries such as Lodash. For example, if you are using Lodash, you can do underscore dot no-op, which is uh, essentially equivalent to this function here. So now we're going to have a look at noopify. So this just takes in a possible function and returns uh, either the possible function or the noop function, depending on whether or not possible function is indeed a function. So you would use it like so. For example, if you have const maybe a function, and we'll say maybe a function one, and let's just say that this one uh, does a console log and says hi, and we have uh, const maybe a function two, but this one's actually just equal to an array of one, two, three, and maybe a function three, which is equal to, let's just say false or null. Because normally I think you get null or undefined. So we're going to use that here. So now if I do maybe a function one and I run it like so, you'll notice that I get high over here. However, you'll notice that if I try to run maybe a function two, I get an error because it's not a function. And if I try maybe a function three, I also get an error. So what noopify allows us to do is it allows us to wrap these functions before we run them. For example, if I do const wrap one equals noopify maybe a function one. And then if I try to run wrap one, you see it will still work fine. But now what I can do is I can actually copy this part here and write here wrap two like so and wrap three like so. And you'll notice that I don't get any errors for the other two. And if I do a console log of wrap two, you'll notice that I get undefined. And oh, if I can do that, console.log wrap two, you'll notice that I get undefined. And the reason I get undefined is because my no op function returns nothing by default. So I want to showcase a real life example of using the no opify uh, function here. And in this case, I'm using it inside of a React app. And this is one of the places where I think it really shines pretty well. Because in React, um, let me just run through my basic app over here on Code Sandbox. I've got a button, and this button component is defined down here. And the button, if you click on it, it's meant to go uh, alert clicked, and then run the on click uh, function pass to it as a prop, and then alert a second alert. Now, what you'll notice will happen is if I click click me over here, I get clicked, but I don't get second alert. And the reason for that is because I get an error. You'll notice I get on click is not a function. And this is essentially the same type of error that we had before. So in order to fix this problem, we can use noopify over here. So inside of button here, I'm going to import noopify from dot slash noopify like so. And then inside of the on click, what I'm going or inside of the button, sorry, I'm going to write const wrapped on click is equal to noopify on click. And then instead of running on click directly, I'm going to run wrapped on click like so. Now, if you save this and I click me again, you'll notice I get clicked and then I get the second alert over there like so. And this will also work for any parameters. So if I go over here, button, I actually add an on click and I go and I write say num alert. This is the on click. And then I put a space and a num like so. And if I go in here and see, I write the number 15 and I save that and I do click me, you'll notice I get clicked. And then this is the on click 15 and second alert. And the reason that everything else still works fine is because Noopify just does a quick wrap around it. Well, it doesn't even wrap it, it just checks it. And if it's not a function, it replaces it with noop. But if it is a function, it keeps the original function. 
So this has been a bite-sized JavaScript video demonstrating the Noopify function. I hope that this may prove helpful within your JavaScript projects. This has been Lucas with Better Coding Academy and see you guys later.